He's got a turquoise green Ford Focus. <laughs> Nigel Farage, guess what he drives? A Jag. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody That's else? important. Guess what Nigel Farage drives? A what? A Bentley could be? M3? You are aware of you, Kip, are you? You think so? You really think so? That. Powering these. No. Not at all. And, uh, what's that down there in the corner? That looks like a surround sound receiver to me. So if you have one of those, what do you need this for? That's a 40 watt amplifier. By the way, that runs on 4 ohms. All of Pyle's products runs on 4 ohms. Anything you buy that has Pyle's product logo on it, it's most likely 4 ohms. Which is a, it's a pro and a con f for me personally. <clears throat> yeah, those are at least 200 watts at 8 ohms. The only kind of sounds you're getting from those out of that is a bunch of static. Yeah, what do you need that woofer for? If, why do you even have these set up in the middle of your freaking living room? And what are they plugged into? Nothing. The only way that would work if those were active. And if those were active, you could wire them into that. Hell, you could even wire those into that. That thing puts out a lot more power than that little thing there. And th this isn't even Pile Pro. This is Pile Home. I found a Pile Pro amplifier. Oh yeah, here's a picture of it. Now you're looking and you're probably thinking, well it's got an antenna, where are all the radio settings at? Well... Right here. I know you can't see that, because of the pixelation of my screen. God, I freaking hate this Windows computer. My phone has better picture than this. That says Bluetooth antenna. That is not a Bluetooth antenna, that's a fucking radio antenna. Oh, that thing's got a radio? Uh, no, that's just my five foot tall Bluetooth antenna. Now, the reason Pile is a pro and a con for me, because their stuff is cheap in Chinese. And you're probably wondering why I'm talking so quiet. Well, I've got the TV on right now, so some people, other people in the house can't hear me, because it would sound like I was talking to myself. Anyways, I like Pile stuff, because it's good for portable use. Like, um, there are these party speakers I was looking at, and I'll show, I'll show them you. <clears throat> oh, by the way, did I mention I'm going to be DJing a wedding for my parents in Hawaii. And, as you can imagine, there isn't going to be a lot of electricity on a beach. So, I got an idea. In fact, I was planning on getting these for a very long time, but I just never really committed myself to get them. None of those aren't the ones I want. Here they are. These. Come on, load. Here we are. So, these speakers. These here. I'm gonna itch on my knee. These are active, well, that one's active, that one's passive, but that one wires into that one, blah, 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 blah. So, I thought these would be good because they're 800, they're 400 watts each, and they've got 8 inch subs, which would be perfect for an event like that. And they run on 4 ohms, because most of Pyle's stuff runs on 4 ohms. And it's just... I, I like it that they run on forums, because these would be good for a beach. Just get, like, one of those power inverters, and then plug it into the cigarette lighter. But, the reason this system is good is because... I've got to wait for it to load. There we go. As you can tell, it has two microphone ports. 
two mic ports, which is good because we're gonna need mics. And you've got um, your equalizer here, uh, echo. Oh, that's gonna be a difficult one to find. And I can use the USB, so it could charge my iPod that I have plugged into it. Or maybe it just takes a USB drive. I don't know. I might just hook my computer up to it. And, uh, oh, apparently it has FM radio. Um, well, I'm here to tell you it doesn't. And, because I'm just fairly certain this does not have FM radio. It might, but I seriously doubt it. But if it does, that's pretty cool. But, I mean, it does have an antenna. But I was thinking that might be for the Bluetooth, but as you can see here, these actually do have a radio belt into them, which is pretty neat. One thing I might, I do have a possible issue with is that. That is an RCA plug. Now, you don't commonly see speakers that come with RCA plugs, and for good reasons. They're not efficient for power output because they're just not. Or at least personally, I don't think they are. I don't use RCAs, I use the little wires, you know, the, just the bare strip wires that you clip into the amp. That's what I use, but maybe this is good. I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. The thing I'm trying to figure out is, what the hell one of those do you plug it into? You know, where's the channel go in? You get this active speaker. And, I don't know, I, I guess it plugs in here or something? I don't know. But this isn't even the weirdest thing. If you, um, oh look, I'll show you a quick size of them. Yeah, they're pretty decent size. Throw some of those in a trunk. Watch this. We're gonna get the one, oop, wait, no. We're gonna get the one with Bluetooth. So, I can show you the difference. Um, fuck. Alright. Let's hit with Bluetooth. Now, I don't know if I showed you this on the old ones, but, no, it's, what the hell? Did it load? Yeah, it loaded. So, um, what I didn't show you with the um, ones I just had on screen, this is the same picture as the old ones. Look at the surround. Focus. There we go. Yeah, you can see that foam surround. Personally, I don't like that phone surround, but it's not like these things are going to be punched in excursion like crazy, so they'll be just fine. But the weird thing is, these are the ones with Bluetooth, and when you look at the main picture of the ones with Bluetooth, and this is one of the reasons I'm kind of iffy on Pile, look at that. That's, that's, um, come on. That's foam surround. That's a completely different surround. And these speakers do look a little taller, and... Look at those knobs. Pay close attention to those knobs. You got so you, All those knobs are silver, right? Well, let's go to this picture. Now, all of a sudden, they turn black. How weird is that? This is why I'm not very trustworthy of Pile. Before I buy any of their products, I look very heavily into them. And, um... These, um, where's the rating? Where the fuck is it? These are actually not rated too bad. You know? And I was thinking about getting these just for portable speakers, and then I thought, oh, this wedding should be an incentive to get them. <sighs> Where the fuck are they? There it is. They got three and a half star reviews, which is good enough for me. As long as it's over three stars, that's all I need to know. And I've read the con reviews, and... The con reviews are the only problem with them is if you look at this here. Bought these to use to play music from an iPod in a small church gathering. 
When the aux input on the speaker sound was okay, but not as loud as I needed, even with iPod tuned all the turned all the way up, I had an adapter to plug the iPod into the mic. Well, see, that's his problem. Wait, wait, wait. Why did he use an adapter to plug it into the mic port? That's stupid. Use the USB, or use the RCAs on the back. Okay, that's just a, that's just user error. <clears throat> It works for the reason I purchased it. See, that's all I need. That's just plenty good enough for me. Nice compact system, see? Four stars, that's good enough for me. Has good sound, easy to move. I also like, I can't wait. I also like that I can add more speakers if I need to. Hmm. I don't know about that. You gotta keep an eye on how much power you're using. The amp in those things is not infinite. They do, you know, um, the amp's not infinite, you know. Bang for buck. Exclamation point. For the money, these speakers truly get the job done. See? That's perfect for me. Bass and treble aren't too deep or light. Blah 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 DJ shit. Now you're probably thinking, why am I getting speakers this cheap? Well, I don't plan on doing a lot of DJ stuff. In fact, I don't plan on doing any DJ stuff except for like family venues. And um, I just thought these would be perfect for that. I mean, there are many speakers I could get. Like, I'm actually gonna get one of these in the future. It might be a while though. But let's take a look at them, shall we? <sighs> wi Fi has been a bit slow today. So, um, if you guys have ever, if any of you out there have purchased a pair of these speakers, please tell me what you think of them. I mean, I'm pretty sold. I'm. Tunnel is set. Oh. So, um, yeah. If you have these speakers, I'd like it. It'd be very much appreciated if you could leave something in the comment section about them. Just give me a little extra info on them. What the hell? God, I hate Windows computers. Don't get Windows computers. These things fucking suck. Yeah, I got a touch screen, but it's more of a... Con I mean, it's... I hate it. Oops, it's not going to open. Now... <sighs> snoy. <laughs> Oop, eh, whatever. Wait, what what department did I choose? Yeah, whatever. These are what I was gonna plan on be the these are what I was These are what I was planning on getting. And the weird thing is it says they're nine they're seven point nine inch subs. Never heard that before. I'm sorry if the uh, audio got a little messed up. The mic was pushed right up against my face. So, that concludes this video. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say about this computer. It's touchscreen. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but there's a problem. Most of the time I have the screen closed, like, to about here, because I normally hook it up to the TV. So, then when I tap like this, and I accidentally bump the screen with my hand, something happens there, and I don't know what the hell, because I'd bump the screen and tap on something. So, I mean, I wish there was like a switch or something on the outside here, where you can turn it off. But that's that then.